For example, if you have a plane going 160 meters per second of an altitude of 9,000 meters, and we would like to find the distance that far away from the target for it to drop the bomb, for it to hit and explode at this point. Since we are looking for this distance in the x-axis, we will need to be finding the d in the x. And since we already have the velocity, the only thing we will need to find is the time. And since the times are the same between the x and the y, then we can find the t using the values that we have in the y-axis. So let me fill those in. Our values that we have is distance, which is neg 9,000 meters because it is dropping and is going down, the initial velocity, which is zero meters per second, the final velocity, which we do not need to find out our time, and the acceleration, which is gravity, which is negative 9.81 meters per second squared. So to have a formula that has all of these variables, we can use d equals vit plus one half at squared. What you can do next is derive a simpler equation from the original, which ends up to be t equals rad 2d over a. And when you plug in your variables for d and a, the answer for time is 42.86 seconds. Now we can solve for the x distance. The equation v equals d over t will work in this situation. Plugging in our variables, we have 160 meters per second equals d over 42.86 seconds. And then once you do the cross multiplication of 160 and 42.86, you get a distance of 6,857.6 meters away from the target. When the atomic bomb collides with the ground, a small internal explosion occurs, which sets off a process known as nuclear fission. This starts when a slow-moving neutron is absorbed by uranium-235 to create an unstable compound nucleus in uranium-236. This unstable nucleus splits into two stable nuclei, which consist of barium-141 and krypton-92. As you can see, their mass numbers only sum to 233, and because mass must be conserved, they must somehow sum to 236. So, in addition, three neutrons are also emitted, along with massive amounts of energy. These three neutrons go on to collide with other uranium-235 atoms and repeat the process. This causes an uncontrollable chain reaction, and in turn, mass destruction through the massive amounts of energy being released. Nuclear fallout negatively affects the surrounding environment and humans in it. Fallout is a condition following a nuclear bomb detonating and radioactive particles in the gases are spread through the atmosphere. When particles break down, they release radiation, and when exposed, it increases the risk of mutations of cells in humans, which can lead to cancer. Cancer-causing mutations are called oncogenes. In a normal cell, oncogenes are involved in the control of the cell cycle and cell division. This is why mutations in them can result in uncontrolled cell division and therefore tumor formation.